Jasmine, how did you know this was my new color? Welcome back to Closet Raid. I am so excited for this episode of Wardrobe Takeover. I'm gonna be styling Emily Alexander and I'm not wearing a stitch of makeup. I usually am like full glam and ready, but I just got out of the shower. Hey guys, Jasmine from the future chiming in here really quickly to talk to you guys about Dossier and to thank Dossier for partnering with me on this video. I don't typically partner with a lot of brands on my channel, but I am really passionate about fragrance and I feel like you guys are too because we all like fashion and beauty. So you can shop the Dossier website for these luxurious perfumes that are inspired by really expensive high-end designer brands like Chanel, Dolce & Gabbana, Gucci. But right now during this time I know it's kind of scary to spend hundreds of dollars on things like perfumes and just like luxuries so I'm obsessed with the fact that Dossier offers these inspired fragrances for such a low price okay so let's talk price points a bougie designer perfume can retail anywhere from $50 on the really low end of the spectrum all the way to $280, which is what I'm used to spending on a perfume. But Dossier offers perfumes that are inspired by these scents for only $29, which is nuts. And if you guys use my discount code, CLOSETRAID10, you guys will get 10% off of your entire order. So that brings the cost down. I'm so excited to be offering this to you guys. Like, it's totally affordable. And the most amazing part is that it's basically a guarantee that you're gonna like it because in the box, they send a little sample size and you can open the sample size, use the sample size, and you can test it out. If you love it, then you open the bottle. If you don't like it, then you don't open the bottle and you send it back. And I think that's so amazing because who doesn't like to test something out before you commit, you know? It's made in France, which um, bougie, yes. Vegan and cruelty free, clean ingredients. This is the little sample right here. It's completely risk free if you just open the sample. You can always send it back if you feel like the fragrance isn't a good fit for you. This one that I picked out is Floral One by Dolce & Gabbana, inspired by Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, which I already know that I like. So nice, oh my God, I'm so excited. So we're offering you guys 10% off your entire order with the discount code CLOSETRAID10. I'm so excited for you guys to be able to try this out and still treat yourself and still feel luxurious and beautiful. And thank you so much, Dossier, for partnering with me and loving these wardrobe takeover episodes. Let's get right back into the video. I had my FaceTime call with Emily, so I'm gonna insert that clip in right now so you can see what kind of looks we're gonna put together. Okay, I have such a like hard time describing my style because I feel like I gravitate towards so many different looks, but I always am gravitating towards like the tiny little tops with like the baggy jeans. That's like my go-to staple. I feel so, like that's a very flattering silhouette. Yes, because like it's always like the tiny tops and baggy jeans, or if you want to wear a tiny bottom, it's like the baggy top. Yeah. So, like that's kind of like what I'm down for. And then I love just like neutrals. Like I I don't really like crazy colors, um, stuff like that. I just like more feminine style though. So, okay. Like, just, like, feminine, off duty vibes. Like more dainty and girly and like sweet. Yeah. Okay, fun. I love that. And do you have anyone that you look up to for fashion inspo that you're like, okay, style icon? Um, I kind of just am always on Pinterest finding, like, different people. But I'll say, like, if I had to pick specific people, I'd say, like, Hailey Bieber and, like, Sophia Richie. Okay. Like, they're very simple, like, vibe. I'm so obsessed with Hailey. Like, She's everything. How do you feel about like going outside the comfort zone and like me throwing in things that you would never like pick out? Honestly, like I'm so afraid to do that. Like and get out of my comfort zone. Like if you stopped all my closet, you'd be like, oh my god, this girl has so many clothes, so many options. But if you see what I wear, it's like the same thing, like type of look. I feel so, you. So honestly, I need that push. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I just want to say I appreciate your support on this series so much. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment. Please like. Please share. It really helps me and my channel. A lot goes into creating these episodes, so it really does mean a lot to me, and I try to get back to every single one of you guys in the comments. Let's just get right into this video. It's later. My hair is actually dry. I want to go through all the looks that I picked out 
for Emily before I ship them off to her. I'm so excited. I think she's going to love these. The first thing that I picked out is actually this little retro bikini by BB. BB is such an early 2000s brand. When I wore four inch little brown BB shoes. I love the colors. I like that it has like lace on it. It's so cute. Next, I have this gorgeous little dress by Rahi and it has so much pretty detailing like the sleeve is so pretty it has a tie at the waist and then it has like a little tiered ruffled skirt this is the cutest bubblegum pink skirt it has a slit and it has this little right here it's like a basket woven little detailing and then this matching bralette the next look is this beautiful ribbed little mint green dress by bria via it is so cute this is a new style just came in and i'm obsessed it's just so soft and cozy this is such an early 2000s vibe it's by lucky brand a little romper bandana romper i can totally picture this with you can button it down for like a sexier look you can make it buttoned up it has this little off the shoulder detail obsessed with american eagle jeans this is the 90s boyfriend fit i paired this with this really classic guess top and it's just gonna make for such a classic all-american girl kind of vibe and lastly i have this beautiful floral top by ronnie kobo it's so cute and like thin and ribbed and then I paired it with this white denim by Jing. And this is like a looser trouser with like a fitted waist. I'm so excited for Emily to try all these looks on. Let's ship these out and see her reaction. Hey guys, I just got Jasmine's package in the mail and she sent me this like itinerary. So it has all the looks and I'm looking at them all right now and I'm kind of nervous because there's a lot of prints that I normally wouldn't wear and like colors that I wouldn't wear. But I feel like it will definitely bring me out of my comfort zone and make me branch out. So I'm super excited. Let's try on the first look. It says, look one, red bandana romper by Lucky Brand, early 2000s vibe. Let's try it on. It's the bandana romper. Honestly, like I'm not crazy about the print and the color. I just don't like red as a whole. But I think the style is really cute, like with the open sleeves. I definitely think it's like a vibe. I just don't think it's my vibe. I'm actually like surprised in the way it fits me because I thought it would not fit me right. But it actually fits me really nicely. I just don't like red but I think it's a cute romper as a whole. So kicking it off with the red romper, I actually am obsessed with red on you, Emily. I think you look stunning in this. I was super excited that it fit perfectly because we're all different and like torso to leg ratio, like sometimes it's awkward for a romper or a jumpsuit, but this was like spot on. I, I personally love this, and but I get like not loving a color because there's certain colors that I'm not comfortable wearing, but I think red really suits you. Okay, so I have look number two on. It's this like collared tie shirt. I really like these jeans. Like they have like the rip up. Oh wait, I was <laughs> like rip on the knee. No, they have a rip up here and I think they fit me pretty good. I normally don't wear dark wash, but I definitely like am vibing. Um, and then this shirt, I love like the idea of like the stripes with the denim. I definitely something I would wear. I don't really like muscle tops because I'm really insecure about my arms. So I feel like if this was like long sleeved and like oversized, I would for sure wear this. I really love these jeans. So definitely a win. And then I paired these with my mules, my white mules. These are from Free People. I love the colors and like the vibe of this. I just don't like muscle tops for some reason. My arms just look ginormous okay these jeans fit perfectly on you i love the fit but let's just jump right into the arm insecurity i 100 percent feel you on this i have the biggest insecurity with showing my arms in the beginning of this video i wore like a sleeveless tank top i was so insecure in that clip i don't know why i threw that little lace tank top on but because i'm super insecure i was going to make an entire video about what to wear if you're insecure about your arms like chubby arm outfit inspo like i don't know if any anyone else agrees with me in the comments like please let me know but the outfit is so cute on you and also seeing you be insecure about your arms is like girl like you look so good your arms are perfectly like proportioned you look so toned you look super cute but that's how insecurities work like we all feel uncomfortable with certain parts of our body i think this looks cute but i totally would pair this with like a long sleeve little crop top these jeans are fire guys i'm actually obsessed with this dress i do not think i would like it 
Khalif like it flatters my figure so nicely and like is this my new color like wait like I did not think I was gonna like this but it's like so like it's sexy but like covered up and like I just love it oh my god I actually really like it I paired it with some white sneakers and I just feel like I could hit the town a little bit of sweat marks if like it's hot outside but I just actually love this for like a daytime look I would probably put my hair maybe in a ponytail or just leave it down maybe pin it there's so many options wow and then I could pair this with like a leather jacket for nighttime this is like my new color Jasmine how did you know this was my new color I didn't even know I would look good in this color. Oh my God. It's gotta branch out sometimes, different colors, and you might find a color that looks good on you. Like, I just wanna change my nail color to this. I'm like looking in the mirror back here, don't mind me. I feel like so effortless, I don't know. This is the vibe, this is the vibe. Good job, good job. Okay, I was dying over how cute you were in this and how like perfectly it fit you. It looked like it was made for you. The color, the cut, the style. Fashion should make you excited, like, Put something on and just feel like you're discovering something new about yourself, about your style. It's just, I don't know. This made me so happy to watch. I loved this on you. 10 out of 10. One of my faves. Your bod's banging. You look so good. You look flawless. Guys, I feel like I'm going to Hawaii and like on a vacation. Like I'm super surprised. This top is just like, it's literally a bralette. I'll probably wear this with so many things. Like I love it. And then this skirt, like... The color is really out there, but I just love the fit of it. It has this slit that makes you not feel like too modest. Cause I used to not be down for midi skirts because I just felt so modest in them. But this makes you look like modest, but like a little spaz with the, oh, with a little spaz with the slit. I actually really like it. I would probably pair this with like little sandals and like just have a relaxed like dinner night outdoors, outdoor dining on the beach. Like I just. I actually really like this. I did not expect me to like this whatsoever, but I actually really like it. So I think this top is just so flattering. Like everything is just so flattering in this outfit. I'm just like really feeling myself in this. So cute. I'm getting carried away. This is so cute. I would love to see this layered with like maybe something thrown over. You live in a warm area, just like nothing, but maybe in the fall months, throw something over it. Jean jacket, cute denim jacket. That's such a look with this like color palette. That would be really cute. Okay, this is the outfit. I honestly think it's so cute together. Like the bit, the bright, bright florals with like the plain white pants. I think it actually looks really, really nice. I just don't really like these pants because they're really short on me. I don't know if you guys can see, but I just love like full length things. And I think if these were like a full length jean, it would look way cuter with the vibe. But I think it's so cute. I think it's like really girly. I feel really like vintage almost, like vintage girly girl vibes. I like it. It's giving me Marc Jacobs Daisy vibes i think it's cropped enough it has like the little flare sleeves i wouldn't ever pick this out for myself like literally never ever ever pick this out but i think together it looks actually really cute so i'm super surprised i definitely would wear this with like a pair of white jeans that i might have that's just a little bit longer this look was cute but like we mentioned i wanted to push you out of your comfort zone make you wear things you would never pick so far they've been things that like you weren't expecting to like i love this little floral crop top i love ronnie kogo this is literally another one that I did not think I would like just because of the prints and the color combination, but I actually love it. Like, I just love the cut of this bikini. I feel like it's so flattering. Like, this is literally the type of style I need to start wearing. And it's a halter. And then these bottoms, I'm not gonna like show too much. It's like a little high rise. It's super like retro. Like, I respect the vibe. Like, I love this look. Like, I want to just go to the beach and take some pictures with some cool sunglasses. Wait, let's get the retro vibe. Okay, I feel like black sunglasses might not look good with this, but maybe some brown ones. I just feel so like dainty. It just makes me feel good. That's what that's what matters. It makes me feel really good in it. Um, I die for this bathing suit. It's so cute and just throwbacky and retro and like just vintage feeling. It is beyond flattering on you. I think that this is your cut. This is like this works so well. I'm all about it. I love it. Definitely with brown sunnies or gold. Okay, this is the final look. I actually love this. Stunning. 
like stunning like i feel like i'm just ready for the day ready for a wedding ready for life i just feel good in this like i love this top it's like i'm not really sure maybe sweetheart so like you could wear it like that or i like how i had it where it's like one sleeve down and one sleeve up i just think that's like add some dimension i don't know and i paired it with sneakers like she recommended and i just feel like it's daytime but you can also dress it up with like some heels for the night and like i i love the way it fits up top thank you jasmine for making me feel so good that was all the looks i actually am so impressed by some of the looks that i just saw first glance and was just like what the heck is that but then trying it on like actually putting it together on my body i actually it made me realize like i maybe i should branch out and stop wearing like denim and just white tops because you can still be in like your comfort zone but make it like different like this is actually different like i probably wouldn't pick this out but i actually love it okay lastly i think this is my favorite look just because this dress by rahi is stunning and the fit on you is everything i really like the like fit and flare it was tight and like tapered but then it flared out with like the little ruffles but not like a crazy amount i think that the navy and white is just such a classy classic combination i adored this on you i think emily is so funny and like i relate to her because i feel like i speak like her like very valley girl sometimes the way i express myself she reminds me of Cher from clueless it's definitely important to just like step out of your comfort zone every now and then and just play around with fashion fashion should just be fun and not be taken so seriously thank you for including me in this video and styling me bye girl or bye guys i don't know what to say bye be sure you guys subscribe to emily her link will be in my description thank you emily for being part of wardrobe takeover i had so much fun styling you that's it for this week i will see you on monday with a new episode bye guys